Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I'm very happy to see you all again and I hope that you're happy to see me again back. Um, sorry for my absence, I was uh, in the process of finalizing my online Master of Science in Computer Science degree and it was very tiring, it used to consume all of my free time considering that I have full-time job and then was preparing for certification it all added up so I couldn't post any videos in during that time sorry again guys so in this video we'll be talking about pros and cons of a degree in computer science how it helps in your job if it helps in your job and does it align with your future career inspirations well, in my particular case, I undertook a degree, a master's degree in computer science, but depending on your circumstances, please adjust my advices accordingly, depending if you wish to go for a bachelor's degree, maybe you just want to go to the college. Among other updates, I have this um, furry sausage in your family member, which, which is, uh, which is oh, you, who is obviously consuming a lot of my time as well but this is a time of joy and happiness mostly um his name is barney and he's four months old kawatsu puppy so um it was a short introduction into what changed um during the time when i was absent well um to start with i started my master uh, degree in computer science back in 2020 it was the time when it was COVID pandemic. I was preparing for my certifications and I already had my mind on having, on finding a job in IT. And then I was looking through the options. And of course, given that my budget was limited, along with um, university ranking, degree ranking and all that, I was also looking at the tuition fee for the university. And it was very important to me that the degree would be online. At that time, back in summer, no, sorry, um, spring 2020, I was working in Turkey. I was going to start working in Switzerland. So um, having a degree, full-time degree was not an option to me. But obviously, if you have um, that capability to attend full-time degree and you have resources, both time and monetary resources to support yourself while, while you are in full-time degree, please go for it because it's way faster. Well, the main um, parameters for me when I was looking for a degree were um, country, it was very important to me that the country that, or, that the university is situated in um, has a good reputation for online degrees. I need to mention that my first master's degree was online as well. So I kind of know the pros and cons of studying online. And I know that the university that is offering an online degree should have a proper online infrastructure, starting from app, um, resources to record some lectures online, resources to, uh, well, human resources to maintain that online platforms. Well, I came across a Master of Science degree in Computer Science offering in at the University of York. They were offering five cohorts. Well, I went for um, a cybersecurity cohort, obviously, because I was going to work, I, I plan, I was planning to work in IT at that time. And now when I have a job in IT, I've got certifications in CompTIA, I've got one certification from AWS, and I'm in the process of finalizing my Master of Science degree. I'm looking back to see what are the pros and cons of these degrees that I've undertaken. So to start with, if I had a chance, if I, if someone asked me, uh, if you go back in time, would you start doing that degree again? Uh, would you do it? My answer would be yes. Because to start with, if you do a degree in tech, any degree really, it makes easier for you to get your, um, to pave your way into the industry. It could be IT, it could be computer science, it could be cy cyber security or QA testing, depending on your um, long-term career aspirations. But in any case, it makes you easier to get into the industry. The first pro is, of course, that it helps you with in your job search and in your future career opportunities. Um, second, second pro is, of course, the academic knowledge. Well, when I when we got when I was preparing for my certifications in CompTIA, 
uh, we've got lots of practical knowledge. So many people say that CompTIA offers lots of theoretical knowledge that we don't need. But when you undertake a degree with different courses that involve the knowledge that you already covered in CompTIA, um, for example, about TCP, UDP, and different protocols to start with, you realize that CompTIA is actually full of practical knowledge. And it's a university that has lots of theoretical knowledge. So, for example, we were... Um, we were covering how TCP came across, how UDP came across. Well, no, no brainer. It is interesting, but why do I need this information in the long term? Obviously, if I want to find out how TCP was um, created, I can just Google it and everything in Wikipedia, thanks God, nowadays. So I think that when you're un taking, undertaking a degree, you need to be prepared for boring part of it because obviously it's an academic endeavor and um, you need to be prepared to go and see through the information that you don't really need and that you won't need ever. For instance, we also covered how RAM works in computer science degree, but um, you, you, need, you, ha you have to understand how RAM works, obviously but not in the details that you cover it in the academic setting. One of the important pros that I need to mention is structured learning for the computer science. Well, you may see that many software engineers who didn't graduate from computer science, they had to learn backwards at some point. What I mean is that maybe they had to start programming, they had a talent, they understand how the hang of it, how it works. They started programming, but then they had to move backwards to understand algorithms and data structures to understand some other very, um, very well fundamental things that computer science is built on. And um, when you are in, the, in computer science degree, you cover it um, very gradually, uh, one by one, and you start from a fundamental level and then you go up high um, up until the end of your degree. So it's more structured learning and you understand everything from the foundation. It's not that you first you, you are first explained how um, to code, how to code a program, how to program something, and only then you learn about data structures and algorithms. No, it, it, the computer science degree is usually very um, structured. It, it helps you to structure your knowledge. Um, the next pro is, of course, the diploma itself. Well, if you get a diploma from a well-ranked university, or at least from a famous or well-known university, um, it's your legacy at some, well, to some extent. If you change jobs and etc., this is, will be something that will be on your CV always and will follow you. Well, I think there is no need for me to cover how um, good diploma can be. For instance, some people, they pave their way in life only because they have graduated from MIT to, or Harvard. They might not, might not be super smart, but the fact that they have graduated from somewhere um, makes their life easier. And also, of course, if you want to pursue academic career, if you want to go into PhD, it's a good chance to start to continue with PhD, yeah. And the next pros is um, the continuation of your education in terms of, well, you might have had bachelors in totally another subject, well, to history, art, or something else, something that is un fairly unrelated to computer science, or you had your bachelors in mathematics, in computing, something that was related but not quite computer science, well, in that case, it helps you to, well, round up your academic academic path, I'd say. So if you had a bachelor's degree in, in math and then do a master's in computer science, you seem all well rounded up for a career in tech industry, of course, all being well. But along with that, there are certain cons that you should be aware of. I think I mentioned one, one of them about the deep theoretical knowledge that you might not need during the degree, and this is one of them. And then, um, well, to, to mention something about the degree at the university when I was studying, the University of York, and practically I am still studying there, um, they have a good infrastructure, they have, have an app where you can see all your degree modules, you have, um, you have tutors that are following you, 
they answer almost all of your questions to the extent that they can. They are usually very helpful. And University of York allows you to pay on a module by module basis, given that, given, well, meaning that if your degree costs you £8,000, you can pay on module by module basis, which is around £700 per module, which makes it easier to get through the degree, actually, given that you don't have lots of savings, but you have some kind of income, monthly income that you can save up and pay for each module. Another important disadvantage that I need to mention is that um, theoretical system and overall academic system, uh, well, it's hard for it to keep up with the developments that we have. For instance, it might cover some technology or might cover some topics that are currently outdated. Another important concept that I need to mention is that um, academic system, well, it's hard for it to keep up with um, the developments that we have at the moment. And for instance, the technology that is already outdated, it's not covered anywhere. The academic system still has it, or during programming assignments in the degree, I noticed that the people who are software engineers and working in the industry for more than three years now, they meant, most of them said that the assignment that they've provided is not optimal and the solution that they're looking for is not optimal in terms of programming. So you can see that it's harder for the academic system to adjust to changing world and be more efficient. Um, it's, it obviously tries to do its best, but with technology changing so fast, it's hard, it's hard for it to keep up. So don't expect from your degree, unless it's a very um, specific degree, don't expect to get all the um, innovations in the field, all the effective information. No, it's usually something that you mostly get um, working for a company or something that you research or come up with yourself. Um, next con or next point to consider when you you want to get a computer science degree is that if you are already working as a software engineer, if you've got certifications, if you've got um, well, if you if you already built your way in the industry, it is really an unnecessary hassle to get into a computer science degree. I've seen some of the students who were experienced software engineers to drop out of the degree because they realized that they don't really need it at, them, at this point in their lives. They have already made their way in the career and they know much more than um, with, the, with their work experience. They know much more than other students who, are, who just have just graduated from computer science degree. So in situations like that, I really think that it is an, an unnecessary hassle for your life to get a computer science degree. Um, on a related note, if you have got a degree in a related subject, for instance, um, you, you've got a degree in computing or math, many of people who work with me in software engineering um, or in IT, they, they've got a degree in math or computing and they're doing perfectly fine in software development. So uh, from that standpoint, if you already have a similar degree and you, well, that is the budget that you want to spend for a degree is something that you would rather allocate for something else, then don't go through this hustle. You don't need an additional degree just to have a computer science in your CV. Um, but overall, I'm happy that I started it. It was very hard at some points because um, I was preparing for CompTIA. You can uh, look through my CompTIA history um, in my on my YouTube channel, in my previous videos, and um, it was really hard at some points, as I said. But I'm happy that I went through it. I still can, I'm still continuing to work in IT. I don't plan to start working in software engineering, but the degree obviously helped me to build up my foundational knowledge about computer science, and um, now I feel way more confident. But, well, if you ask me what is more value, what was more valuable to you for your job, for your overall professional development, degree or certifications, my answer is always certifications. Just because you have the clear curriculum, you, you prepare, you cover only practical topics and you, of course, have less to cover and less academic hassle. Well, um, and also you need to consider that in the degree you'll be... Um, preparing lots of projects, lots of written assignments, which cannot be that fun. Well, going back to the times when you have to reference everything, when you have to, well, be acad academic. 
if you're if you're bored and you want to go back to the years when you were studying for something of course that's for you but otherwise please consider all pros and cons very attentively before um before well committing to that important step in your life i will be back with more interesting videos very soon have a nice day and take care bye